aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? Center Records, welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with Jules Records, this character. Now, before going into this Wi Fi battle, I do want to give you guys a small update. If you want to see the battle, here's the timestamp. If you want to just see that, just push the bar over there. But with that said, uh, the reason there have been so many uploads this week and probably a forthcoming next week is not going to be it's going to be the same kind of issue. Uh, it is that uh, due to, of course, the holidays of winter, I was kind of falling, oh, I have fallen behind on work. And uh, it basically is that I haven't had the time to play Pokemon whatsoever or record. Now I have another mini series going on, which you know, of course, with the Weather War. But that's not the reason why you guys are here chilling with me, and I know that. So I finally got a chance to go to record a few Wi-Fi battles, and they're all post-narrated, not going to go live. Since, of course, that is what you have guys, of course, have been asking me to do more post-narrated ones. So I'll try my very best to do it just so. So, anyway, I hope to get more Wi-Fi battles uploaded, but uh, bear in mind that I might be a bit behind on uploads, and um, don't worry, um, <laughs> things is, will change eventually. Now, with that said, we're going to get Sauce Bear, which is a Twitter follower on, of course, um, Twitter. Uh, her team is as follows, Pelipper, Tapu Koku, Celestilla, Garchomp, and of course Magirna and Marowak so a very very tough team and uh, doesn't have an overly like weakness and of course with the uh, Pitlipper um, the reduction of of course burn effective damage against Magirna and um, what do you call it Zelestila are very very tough to do with um, Drizzle simply just push me back really really easily because I'm using a Sun team hey I'm using Tabu Coco also, so you know I kind of gave up the idea of not using, uh, of course, Tabus and Legendaries or Yubis. Now I will, of course, try to avoid as much as possible, but for this team, Tabu Coco kind of made sense. Uh, and of course, you get it with Kama O, special variant with specs, Bustle, yes, using an Ultra Beast, Torkoal, yes, that's a Torkoal, uh, Mega Redactyl without rocks, sadly, it can't have rocks till, of course, the bank is out, and of course, Sweeper Growth of Victory Bell. So a very straightforward team here, and uh, I was pretty sure I was going to lose, I'm not going to lie. Mainly because her team is just so well composed. The only thing that this doesn't make any sense here is of course Marowak. Marowak clearly has an overall response to of course any Pokemon that could lock her out, but even with that in mind, it's um, it kind of doesn't make sense for Rain Team. But without that, if you take that Pokemon away, it's pretty darn terrifying, and I didn't necessarily know how to tackle it. Hell, I barely had an idea how to lead this game because I'm gonna use Tabula against her. I need to knock out any Pokemon that can soak uh, Thunder Hits because Electric Damage does damage her team really well. Both Bogart Jump and Marowak can soak that, so I knew that once they were out, then maybe I could do something. Uh, and I need to win the Weather War, which means Pelipper needs to go out somehow. And with my team, that is not an easy task, because I do not have Stealth Rocks. So anyway, I ramble far enough. Thank you, of course, for staying so long. Let's now see how this battle ends. So anyway, I'll lead off with, of course, my Rembrandt, my... Um, well, what do you call it? Uh, Tabu Coco, mainly because it was my safest switch. And now, when she's going to with Pelipper, I just knew that it was... Uh, clearly, it's not going to stay on the field. There is no reason for her staying in here and the Volt Switch is the point, main choice of me for doing but I don't pack that I have actually Thunder Bolt. So I'm gonna go to Mega Sword expecting Marowak to come in and basically force her out with a Stone Edge. Um, I mean Aerodactyl is such a great Pokemon here and Nerdlaw speeds everything in her team which means Aerodactyl is gonna be great for the particular battle. So anyway I'm just gonna go for Mega Evolution she just decided to say in that's good mainly because that means that we're gonna knock out the Marowak actually turn two but we miss! The Stone Edge, Ash the Retali with Iron Head, which almost kills us, and I am basically just scratching my head like, yeah, I think we lost, I think that's it, I don't see any way we're gonna make this forward, as Stone Edge does a fair amount of damage to Celestila, considering you know that Celestila is always a more defensive variant of a Pokemon mainly here, but I can't switch in Tapu Koko, I mean knock up, or I mean Heavy Slam is Heavy Slam, so I can't pull that off, so I'm gonna go to my Torkoal, expecting that Heavy Slam, or either, you know, she could go on potentially for Leech Seed, which is what she does. Um, a bit surprised by that, consider, of course, that I do have Victory Bell, but at the same time, she wouldn't have lost anything by doing so. 
we have the sun up though, which is a main, main perk here. And we should try to do everything we can to, of course, utilize that if possible. Or as much as possible before, of course, the Pelipper. Oh my god, it's back. <laughs> I actually pulled a double here, go into my uh, Victory Bell, because I actually wanted some kind of prior damage to the Pelipper. Because if it is a defensive standard variant or a special attacking one, then Giga Rain does roughly 50%, which meant that had I had rocks, things would have been much, much more interesting. But yeah, I can't stand in taking a hurricane, so I'm just going to go to Ifrit, back to my Torkoal, uh, because she's supposed to go to Hurricane. She must go for a Hurricane, and I have to hope that she miss, and she does. Now, had she gone for a Scald, it would have done a lot of damage, but with the reduction of Sun, it would not have been as bad. Uh, so anyway, Marowak is back, and uh, I went to went with Toxic here, because I need prior damage. I need some kind of damage output here, and... Um, I'm not scared of Marowak, uh, I don't think it necessarily hurt me all that much due to me being on Torkoal, so I'm actually staying in, going for an Earthquake as she switches out to, of course, Pelipper again. I was like, you gotta stop! You can't do this to me, you can't steal my son! And uh, Earthquake clearly isn't gonna hit, and I need to switch out now. And I didn't necessarily know what to switch into, because it's very clearly that Skull is the play to make, as she goes for Hydro Pump, and that's gonna knock out Mega Sword. Like, yeah, there is nothing on my team taking that hit. So, Pelipper, screw you so much. So, anyway, I'm gonna bring Rain Bronze. I know Tabakoku could force her out again because I am not gonna play any games. I did oh, I did think that maybe I could go for a Dazzling Gleam, go for that neutral play, since, of course, I got a status on, of course, my uh, or her <laughs> Marowak, but that did not come to fruition. Now, I went to Kamo instead. As she goes to Jaws, and I basically wing it here. Uh, I went for clanging scales anyway, even though I do not outspeed, and I knock her out. I will say this, I have no idea how that transpired, but I am completely fine with it, because I needed that, I needed that so badly. So anyway, the Pelipper is back, now I'm, I can probably not KO it, uh, so I decided to switch out, even though Specs Clang and Scales might actually do the trick, I didn't want to risk it, and Hurricane knocks me out anyway. Uh, so we're gonna get the Sun back out, and of course she goes for the Hurricane. Now, here's the thing, I'm not gonna risk my Torkoal, I'm not gonna try to do anything weird. So, um, I just decided to switch out and went back to, oh, to Mork. And uh, Venusaur is not the best switch in here. It is completely walled by Marowak. Which means I have to switch out yet again. I do not like to, of course, switch out against, of course, the Marowak. As she goes for a Flame Charge here. Kind of surprising, which kind of tells me it's a sweeping set. Here's the thing. At plus one, um, Jolly Marowak do not outspeed my timid Benedictus or Como. So I'm just going to go for Clanging Scales yet again. And we got to knock out the Marowak too. So the game kind of opened up for my type of Coco. Because this means that she has nothing that can reduce or take not take its vulnerable. Now she'll bring Zeus and Dazzling Gleam, you know, clearly not only chaos us, you know, it makes Pulver out of us. I really need to get out and my best bet here is to go to Mork uh, because I do reduce or resist any type of damage from her. As we see Volt Switch, that's good and we don't see any life for which is even better. Because that means that I, my Coco wins against that one, 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 one because she can't do her 50% damage to me. But mine, 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 the Pelipper, the freaking Pelipper comes back. And as stated, there is really nothing I can do. So I'm just going to go to Ifrit yet again, get the sun up, uh, basically ensuring that she can't utilize her ring to do her advantage as she misses Hurricane again. Thank you, sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I, I love it. So anyway, I'm gonna bring Benedictus here as she actually optimized to go for the hurricane anyway. Do not switch out and we're gonna lose our Benedict Benedictus here. Can't say that name too often. Como went out and that sucks because damn, it was impressive. Now I can freely go to my, of course, Rain Brown to my top of Coco. As stated, due to her losses of, of course, her Pokemon that could take Thunderbolt from me, I am actually in a very very nice position because I can two hit kill any type of Coco to have a life for variant and as you guys will see while she does win the speed tie a Thunderbolt is not a two hit KO 
So we're gonna win of course this matchup because that is just the way things are as uh, she actually gonna bring Magirna as of this time and um, I'm not gonna lie at this point I was basically like yeah let's sack let's sack my Torkoal go to Victory Bell try to pull off a Weather Ball and then try to wrap the game she goes for Flash Cannon instead of Floor Cannon that's good and it still would knock out Ifrit which was kinda surprising Though I have a thought that maybe this is Specs. And Solar is going to kick in, so I was basically, basically thinking she's going to stand. She's going to wing it. She's going to risk it. And I am pretty sure Weather Ball do take her out. And, uh, you know, the thought was there. And it transpired. I actually knock out Magirna with a Weather Ball. Damn it! Freaking Victory Bell. Just, oh, so awesome. So anyway, Pelipper is back, and this time, you know, Pelipper did win the Weather War. You know, I'm not going to take that away, but we're so badly run down, both of us, that there is really nothing we can do. And as you guys will see, Giga Rain just 75%. So had I just gotten rocks up, this Pelipper would not have been such an issue. Instead, it becomes such a massive beast for this whole game. And while I do have, of course, my um, uh, bus hole still intact, and of course very very threatening to be used I, I I can't do anything with it because her two last Pokemon Pelipper clearly and of course Celestela just simply deals with it really nicely now Thunderbolt here will of course KO Pelipper no clearly it's not gonna be able to reduce the damage and all it comes down to is whether or not I can knock out Celestela I am kinda lucky here of course the electric Surge do die off at that point because quite frankly I'm not sure I could have KO'd Celestela from this area if the thunder or the electric terrain wasn't up. So of course with that said, there is no way Celestela is going to take this damage. So we win this battle 2-0, it might as well have been of course impossible 1-0 really considering that Bustle was not going to be able to do anything here anyway. So to Setspear, thank you so much for this battle. Uh, I definitely feel that um, there were a few predictions made from both sides that was really, 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 really good. And I just basically come out on top for a bit of luck, really, or quite frankly, to be honest. So, yeah, a quick rundown, really, because I do want to share at least, you know, the situation that did transpire. Uh, first of all, if you're using a Sun Team, freaking get rocks. I kind of felt that my opponent didn't get, you know, any kind of disadvantage for switching in and out as often as she did with, of course, a Pelipper. It made the game a lot tougher for me, and clearly with the Victory Bell in motion, that was very, very needed. And outside of that, you know, Stone Age missed in the beginning, yes, it damaged me quite a lot, but I, at the same time, we did kind of make a comeback, and I'm not sure what that guard jump was. My, I, I suggest, or I think that it might have been going for a Dragon Tail or anything like that. I am not sure if it's a bulky variant or anything. But whatever transpired there clearly helped out because I was pretty sure the Garchomp was going to wrap up the game. If it was a Scarf variant, I'm, I'm, I couldn't do anything now, could I? I basically have used my Bustle against that thing and at the same time there, Pelipper was always going to come back in. And I was just, ah, oh, Pelipper though, what a beast. And outside of that, you know, I had a great game here and it was really, really nice going Tabacoco, Tabacoco. And it kind of showcased, of course, that the more offensive variant would work Wild Charge, I was going to say, but I mean, of course, Thunderbolt, uh, Dazzling Gleam, Inabar Ice, and Roost are probably the best variant, um, mainly because, of course, it does 2 it KO other type of Cocos. It's, um, it's, it's kind of glorious. I kind of like that idea. Um, of course, if you win the speed tie, that is. Uh, but with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this game. And of course, check out Saucepairs, of course, her Twitter channel when I enjoy that. And I do believe her YouTube channel, but I'm not sure whether or not I can link that. But yeah, with all that said, I did enjoy the, this game for a lot, and I hope she did too. Uh, so thank you, of course, you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, of course, take care.